Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Soling the Ark. I'm Flinger and today we're up here just punching our May wings back into position. A couple of them are a uh, little bit uh, not in position. So now they're a little bit back. I mean, that one's got... Uh, he's hanging over a little bit. I mean, they'll be fine, right? Right? All right, but yeah, today I think what I want to do is I want to head over to the uh, Rockwell side. Uh, the Rockwell infested side, the one that's got all the uh, weird fungus over there. I just want to get over there and take a... Yeah. Keep walking, dude. Keep walking. You and I, we still have business together. Okay, all right, all right. You can freak out at Yogi. It's fine. Or you can get trapped on my chem bench. I know where you live, dude. All right, <laughs> but yeah, I think what today what I want to do is I want to get over and I want to go see what kind of stuff we can uh, get. Actually, wrong button. I want this one. All right, so we're going to take uh, blue raspberry. We're going to put them in our pocket and then we're going to get over over there. I just want to go see what kind of stuff we can find, what kind of stuff we can uh, stumble on. Um, let's see. I uh, want to make sure I've got some, you know, oh, hold on. We're going to need narcotics just in case. I mean, if we're going over at, on an exploratory mission, you never know when you're going to explore something that you want to explore and then go find something that you want to... Hello. Go find something that you want to find and then maybe, uh, you know, shoot it in the face, knock it out, uh, throw something up its butt, and then uh, bring it home. Right? I mean, it, it could always happen. You never, never know. I don't think we're going to need the arrows, though, so these things can get uh, later, dude. All right, sweet. Let's get our butt a moving. All right, so this way, yeah. On the flying road again, I think it is. Yeah, there we go. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let's get over here to the path and then drop down. And ha! Now we're on the road again. See, look, road. Ha 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 ha. All right. Hold the phone. There's a couple enforcers here. Oh. And I don't have my spyglass equipped. Alright. There's an enforcer. I want to take a look. Oh lord. I don't know. Not the 20. Wait. What? 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 What level are you? What level are you? 130. Hey! 130 enforcer. That's not bad. There's another one right here. 20. Okay. So. I want to take a look at this 130 enforcer. See what kind of stuff he drops after our uh, shadow main drops its poop. Come here. Come here, dude. I just want to beat you up and see what uh, makes you tick. Quite literally. Ooh. A Journeyman 130. That's actually really good. Because when you get these things, you don't mean... The health, the stamina, the energy, the damage, they all suck. But um, the weight's really good. But when you get these things, you want high level with uh, low uh, quality. That way there you actually get the decent ones. So that's actually not too bad. See what makes you tick. Come here. Thank you. Oh, you are just garbage. All right, all right, all right. Pick you back up. I know all that stuff we just looted off the enforcers is going to drop on the ground, but that's fine. That's fine. I'm willing to make that sacrifice. We found the enforcer, and that's all that matters. All right. So, back... Well, we're still heading over there before I get distracted by pieces of candy even more. So... All right. Although, last time I came over here, there was a bunch of void worms on the outside of here. So... I'm hoping we don't encounter them. Are you? Oh, okay. Oh, hey, dude! How you doing, man? Asteroid miner. Long time no see, dude. Keep an eye out for void worms. All right, let's just get our butt across. You know they say that in, uh, you know, in space, no one can hear you scream. But if Voidworm comes over and beats me up, oh yeah, you guys are definitely going to hear someone scream. 
<laughs> it's just the way it's gonna work. All right. Ah, there's a Voidworm right there. And I wouldn't mind actually taming one of those, but we need to get a little bit more prepared. Spiders down below. All the bad stuff is down below down in here. I mean, Noglins, Spiders, Shadow Manes, Reapers. Yeah, but Reapers are actually down below. Even more down below. So, yeah. And Kentros, those guys. Oh, man, those guys. All right. So, <laughs> let's, uh, let's see. Where are we going? Let's see. So, I've explored quite a bit of over here. But there's a couple places I was kind of curious about. I mean, I've been on quite a bit of different areas. Let's go up here to this little mountain range way up there. Let's go see what kind of stuff we can see up here. I mean, it's, it's all good, right? I mean, what, what's the worst that could possibly happen, right? Oh, and also green drop. Green drop! Alright, green drop with aloes. Maybe we should have brought the Quetzal. Ooh, 140 R aloe. Maybe we should have brought the Quetzal so we could tame some uh, aloes. Set up a taming pin up around here somewhere. Alright, don't aggro the aloes. Or the water bugs. Alright. Not bad. I just wish there were, uh, our Argents. That would be really, really... Oh, that's a 145 just sitting there? Oh, man. I think our, uh, Argent is a male as well. Or else I'd definitely knock that guy out. And if we uh, if if that was a female, I would definitely uh, shoot you in the face, dude. Just saying, that would have been great. Have a male and a female back home. Okay, now here's a kooky looking thing, velanosaurs. Well, sixty. The R velanosaurs look really good, and I like some of the colors they can come with. That one right there, of course, is red, so I'm not very partial to that one. But some of the other ones are decent. I like some of the textures you can get on these guys. Carno down below. Big giant tentacly bit over there. What's up around in this area? Other than popping brontos. Not a big fan of popping brontos, just saying. Alright, let's see. Spiders? Oh, those are mantis. Okay. Bunch of aloes. Lots of aloes around in this area. Low level pack. Okay. Get over and take a look what's over here. See, this is the stuff I haven't taken a look at yet, is the very far corners of these maps. And I want to avoid those dangerous, nasty plants down there. I have seen what those things will do, and I don't want to be a uh, part of it. What have we got up here? More aloes, of course. Rexes? Hey, Rexes aren't bad. Let's see what else we can find over here. Well, some of these R aloes look really, really good. See, down here's a 130. There. But this 
red, black, and purplish one? That actually looks pretty good. That's a good color mixture on those. I'm just taking a look, dinking around. Seeing if we find anything worth, uh... Worth shooting. So far, the answer is... Yes. But... It would be so much easier if I had brought a klutzel. Oh, what's up here? Oh, this is a kooky spot. A lot of saber tooths. Weird funky plants. Right, Rockwell sure beat up this side with an ugly stick. That's a lot of metal. Got down here. Notice this side has a lot of tapajaras. You the same one I saw earlier? Yeah, you are. Okay. Oh, hey, I'm back where I started. Yay! <laughs> All right. Now let's get cruising down this way a little bit. Is it just me or does it seem like every little bit of this map has potential to be a mosh pit in its own right? I mean, here's a 145 Tapajara. But he's down here dealing with a whole bunch of Hyenodons, Ankies, Scorpions... Uh, more scorpions, parasaur, arch. Oh, Bob Noglin, you scared the crap out of me. All right, stop doing that, dude. All right, fine. Let's get over here before Bob Noglin really gives me the willies. I swear that little dude just following me around everywhere I go. I don't know what to make of it. Take a look at this velanosaur. Oh, dude. Hey, 145 velan. See, this is what I mean. Just so much high-level stuff just everywhere. I'm gonna get this Velanosaur. I think. Alright, make sure there's no nasty plants everywhere. Stop shooting me! I'm supposed to be taming you! Oh, that was 162 Tech Rex. Can we actually just knock you out? Here, dude. Night. Apparently, I need to hit. Okay, so. Let's see, can we get this guy knocked out in time? Wow, that lightning is weird. Enough? Yeah, that's enough. Lightning everywhere. Holy crap. All right. Oh, I don't need all this. Where's the metal? 
Drop the metal. I'll keep the electronics. Do that. All right, Mr. Stego, you need to move, dude. Lightning is really close. Hopefully the lightning didn't do anything. All right, and hopefully you didn't get hit. All right, so, uh, let's see. Let's throw some prime meat on you. Oh, I have, that's why I'm so encumbered. Doi. <laughs> now let's see. Okay, you didn't get hit. Nice. All right. Sweet. Okay, so you know those fish that hang down below in the deep sea? I'm talking real life here. You know, well, the angler fish, really. And also down here. All right, doesn't this over here... The Stego's tail look like it's just trying to lure you in. It's like, oh, hey, look, there's something over here that's, uh, you know, it's dancing, it's bobbing. Quick, you want to come pay attention? As soon as you get close, I bet you there's like a couple of those little uh, plants on the other side just going, rawr, it's going to eat you. Yeah, that's how they get you. <laughs> All right. This dude's just taming up uh, just fine. He's eating pretty fast. It's kind of cool. All right, and he's up. Now let's take a look. See what your stats are. Wow, 331 melee. That's not bad at all. I will take you. Nice. All right, so we've got a male Velanosaur. Now we need, I mean, if we can find a female Velanosaur, that'd be good. I'm not going to uh, raise my hopes on that, but you know, that would be kind of cool. All right, let's see. Um, we're gonna get, uh, what all do you, you just a bunch of prime meat and stuff, right? Prime meat is super easy to get over here so i have no worries about dropping all that on the ground while i put you in my pocket all right let's get our butt back up here and hopefully we uh hopefully this lightning doesn't hit us i mean i haven't ever seen it hit um hit me or one of my dinos but you know it doesn't make it any less intimidating What is this down here? Oh, see this right here. This is the part where they pull you in. They're like, oh, hey, look. Oh, there's nothing dangerous down here. You get in, there's like 15 Noglins and they're just ready to con mind control you and then feast on your face and your brain and yeah. Yep, that means we're going over. <laughs> All right, let's climb up way up high. Come on. Yeah, if we can find a female uh, Velanosaur, that would be really, really cool. I have to figure out how to uh, stop that from uh, doing that lag bit every time it saves. You know, I don't think there is anything I can do, but... What are you? Is that just the foliage? What oh, is? Oh, hey, look, feather lights. All right, lightning, knock it off. All right, I'm looking at pieces of candy here. All right, let's get down here. Okay, now this looks like a nice little pleasant area. A little Bloodstalker action. 55 Bloodstalker. You know, I bet Bloodstalkers on this map would be really, really fun. Hmm. Kooky. There's a big spider down there. <laughs> now, where are we on the map? Way over here on this very far side. Yeah, I'm just kind of taking a look, seeing what all we can see. Finding out where all the spawn spots for everything are.
Looking at the lightning in the distance. Oh, look at you. Hello. Ooh, where's your buddies? A 55 Manigarm. Oh, and if there's one, there's more. Hello. Oh, and then, of course, another Bloodstalker. That's not... Oh, a 140 Bloodstalker. That's not terrifying. For you. Oh, uh, nothing. Let's go see if we can find another Manigarm. Without him uh, leaping in our face. Let's see, is there any more down this way? Because that would be really, really cool if we could find uh, a decently leveled Manigarm. Maybe two. And then breed them. Because imprinted Manigarms are really, really fun. Hello. Oh, hey, Quetzal. Oh. Hey, Quetzal. Fine. All right, 90. Now, this is a cool waterfall. I like a good waterfall. I'm not sure if anybody knows that about me. <laughs> Let's see what else uh, over here. Any more Manigarms up here? The Rexes. Oh, there's one. What level are you? 55. Okay, so that's 255. So let's see what else we can find. And more Bloodstalkers. Oh my gosh. 130 Bloodstalker. So hey, if we're in the market for Bloodstalkers, I know where there's a 140 and a 130. Not bad. And what level are you? And to 135. Hey, there's a lot of high-level uh, Bloodstalkers here. We'll just go a little bit higher, just to be safe. Here's another waterfall that looks really, really dang good. Get up a little bit higher. What is over in this area? More Bloodstalkers. Allo Allo's fighting Bloodstalkers. Have at him, Allo's. And here's the far corner. What is hiding back here? The big blue Bronto. I knew it! I think I might want to go to the other side. Now that we know that the man where the Manigarms spawn... Wouldn't mind keeping an eye on this area, see if we can find some nice high-level ones. But I think I want to go uh, see if I can get uh, another Velanosaur, see if we can go find a female Velanosaur. And it seems like there's a lot of high-level stuff over here, which I'm not gonna... I'm not upset about that at all. And yeah, it's dangerous when it's trying to chase you down and eat you, but it also makes for great taming. Let's pop down here, see if we can find some Velanosaurs down in this area. Now we're in Shadow Main territory. And Bloodstalker and Shadow Main territory. Oh, because that's not scary enough. Oh, and what's going on there? Oh, Rockwell, you've got your tentacles coming out of that. Oh, dude. You have issues, man. All right, let's get over this way. Actually, there might be Velanosaurs up here on this mountain. Let's go take a look. Oh, there's a cave entrance right there. Pop down in here. What is that? There I go. There's a Velanosaur right there! 
Hey! If there's one thing to lure me into a cave, and it's deep and dank and dangerous, I guess it would be a female 140 Velanosaur? Yay! Alright, I'm gonna have to turn on my, uh, rate, my Noglin vision here really quick. Get this guy knocked out. Or this girl. Okay, if we can hit her. If we can hit her. There we go. There is Xena, stay over on your side. Thank you. I'm not seeing any noglins. That's a big plus. Alright, you don't have nearly as high um, melee damage as the other one did, retain, but. Alright, so now we just wait. This cave looks. Really promising, actually. Huh. Oh, there's even more Velanosaurus in here. For 130 female. Hey! It's like an underdark area. Oh, this is cool. We're definitely gonna have to... Alright, let me show you guys on the map where this is really quick. Okay, it's right... There. A little distorted because of the Noglin vision. But Noglin vision is extremely important when you're down here when there might be Noglins. Because you need to be able to see where the Noglin is. Because you can't see it without the Noglin vision. So, yeah. Alright, now we wait. By a cryopod, we're gonna need. No, come on. HLNA reporting for adventure. Cool. Alright, now give me. Thank you. G'day, Survivor. Yep, good Here's day. what I've got. Buy three of those. Let's do this case. again. Yep, let's do this again. Give me more. All right, there we go. All right, now, there's that 130. It's wandered up here, so I'm going to see if I can actually get it. And if we can get it and it's got decent stats, it'll be good. Hopefully. That's my, you know, that's the strategy. Hopefully it pays off, you know. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Hopefully it does. Got the same base melee as the other one. 
I'll just get you knocked out. All right. I don't want to sit and wait. But I love the fact that this Underdark thing, it looks really, really cool. The lightning crashing over my head. Oh, give me that back. You don't need that. I need that. Now let's go take a look at the other one real quick. These little bulbous mushroom things, though, they, they really like to get in the way. <laughs> I can imagine running for your life and then uh, run into a patch of those. Just frustrating to all get out. Oh. Okay, so I'm seeing things now. Okay. I just turned around and I thought there was something walking right here. It's just the Noglin vision messing with me. Alright, this one is up. Alright, so first female Velanosaur. 302. Oh, three. What? Oh, no. Lower. Lower in everything. Iron food. That's plus, right? <laughs> okay, so the other one is uh, better in every way. Well, at least we got a breeding pair. Alright, and then we'll go take a look at the other one down below as soon as she gets up. Yeah, we actually have a decent breeding pair. It's not, you know, like... The best breeding pair, but it's it's decent. Alright, Noglin Vision, don't fail me now. I definitely want to go explore down there a little bit. Alright, 33%. Okay. Okay, there's something over here. If you look through there, you can see something flapping its wings. Is that... Feather light? I see one feather light right there. Is that a Quetzal over there? It totally is! It's a Quetzal! Stuck on the ground. What level are you? Oh, hello! What level are you? <clears throat> Oh, 100. That's not a bad feather light. Hello. Oh, hey. Not as good as the male, but better than the first female. Hey, you're a keeper, too. All right, nice. Exploratory mission so far has been a success. Three Velanosaurs. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right, let's get... Looking down here. Mantises. Oh, there's goats. Let's fly a little bit through here. I want to go exploring in just a bit. Got to be careful with it because if there's any shadow means, they can definitely aggro me and then come up and then stun me. Ooh, hello. Somebody's got indigestion. Another entrance right there. And it just keeps going down and down. Oh, oh, it comes out this. Oh, this is cool. Look at, there's a ton of crystal here too. Oh, this is awesome! Get out of there before that lightning actually does hit us. That is neat! Ah, oh, it's just right underneath this big giant mountain down here. That's cool! Alright, where are we headed? Where is... Oh, whew! I have two things following me. Okay. So we need to go back up that way. All right, let's do this. All right, here goes nothing. Hopefully the void worm didn't follow me. I think he did. No, okay. Bunch of seekers though. Yeah, suck it, seekers. 
let's get back across here before we get aggroed by a void worm. Well, just coming out here, if there's one, if the one within range of seeing us, it will aggro. So, I can guarantee there's at least one that's aggroed on me right now. And I definitely want to, uh, try to tame one, but not today. Actually, I want to tame quite a few of them, just to see what all we can do with them. That would be fun. Not get caught up on this. Alright. There we go. And we're safe! Alright. And I need to take out the pack of, uh... Shadow Mains out there. And go, uh, clear out all the low-level, uh, Void Worms out there. That could be fun. Alright, back at base. And the exploratory mission was a success. I can turn this off. Noglin vision not needed right now. Yeah. All right. So we ended up getting see, this one. That's the male, I think. No, or is that the female? I don't know. One of the two. They're all pretty much looking kind of similar. Probably get some. There's some green. Yeah. See, she was in the dark, and I had Noglin vision going, so I really couldn't see her. Okay, I like the colors on you, but I like the stats on, I believe, you. Yeah. Stats on you are great. Actually, really good stats. All right. So, hey. Anyway, the exploratory mission over to Rockwell's Inner is actually pretty uh, fruitful. We got three Velanosaurs out of it. So, you know what? We're bolstering the base defense, I guess. I mean, it's not like we need base defense here. But, hey. That's pretty cool. Alright, so hey, if you haven't already, make sure you click that like button. I really appreciate it. If you're new around here, subscribe. And until next time, this is Flicker Foo. And take it easy, everybody. And I'm kind of looking forward to being able to get over to that uh, dark side more often and go see just what kind of stuff we can find. Especially now that I know where the Manigarms spawn. That could be cool. Alright, take it easy, everybody.